The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this 4th of April. My pleasure to be here Monday through Friday. And uh, thank you so much for those who were able to attend uh, my live presentation last night, my webinar for subscribers. I, I would suggest if you're even thinking of becoming a subscriber to my opening call, uh, this is really a good time. We've started to implement what I'm looking at in terms of the big picture, what I'm anticipating for 2019, maybe even 2020, trying to get into certain positions. Maybe it is a bit early, but I think uh, this is a great time, a great opportunity. I kind of covered in 90 minutes to the minute, I covered every single thing that I wanted to, uh, also with questions, whatever it was. Um, I, I really feel very comfortable with the webinar in terms of what I wanted to achieve and what I felt I did achieve. I, I think that this is a webinar that you can use uh, for quite a period, months in fact, because it has a bigger picture. And you'll know which levels to look at for um, a, a, an essential break to the upside or a breakdown. Just I liked it very much. I, I hope uh, the feedback so far has been positive. I hope that, um, and any questions, just send them along to me. Um, so the dollar, I had a question about the dollar. Look, I showed this the other day as a potential type of head and shoulders pattern, not the perfect one, but hey, this is more close to a head and shoulders pattern when you've got a left side high in the dollar of 97.37 back in February, pulls back to 95 to near the 200 period moving average rallies to a higher high to 97.71 and that was in march pulls back towards the end of march to 95.74 a little under the previous low and that essentially right on the 200 period moving average the orange line it makes a cup formation and then starts to move up again and it stalls where it stalls right here at 97.52 a little less, 19 cents off that high. So this is saying, at this point, you can say maybe this is going to be a head and shoulders because it's got the left side um, a, a shoulder. The middle is the head. There's the H. And here's the right shoulder, the S, at peak C. It's gray C because it's not above that peak G. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know what? There's a chance with the MACD still strong and the stochastic holding steady at 87 percent there's a chance that we could push above 97.50 and then 52 and then go to 97.71 a retest but if it goes to 97.72 look what happens in the chapman wave methodology and today's the birthday happy birthday to you this is the dollar we've been in it for a year uh subscribers to my opening call know this very well from 90.07, we've got written it all the way to 97.71. Took a little, tiny little bit off because I really like it. I'm thinking that the dollar is representing at this particular moment and moment meaning up until now, um, America as the strongest economy, just as the yen before back in the 80s was doing so well when Japan was selling as much as they could to America and to the rest of the world. We were paying... It's just an ironic thing. I never mentioned this in the uh, webinar last night. It was on my mind, then it just went right off my mind. I'll mention it now. I've done this before, but it's funny that when things become more expensive, people want more of it. Yeah, yeah, we like discounts and everything. But when something becomes kind of exclusive, people want more and more of it. So I'm watching the dollar, and I think that as the dollar is, um, as our economy if it continues to strengthen, we don't know, maybe we're going to a big tussle with Japan, but at this particular point, it's saying that money from around the world would prefer to go into the dollar than to the other currencies. That's all. And so far, that's good. I can tell. So the question was, where was the question? Um, please discuss the possibility if we blast through 98 on the dollar index. 
Well, this is, let me show you. I'll expand the, see these, these cup formations, I discussed that last night, the cup formation or the arch formation, in this case, the cup formation. And this cup formation says that if there is this kind of cup and a handle breakout, that would be very positive, but it would be leg D. And it would suggest that at some point we're going to come back and test the 9750s, and then we'll see if we break up decisively. However, the monthly chart, I call this a cup and a handle. It's really not a cup and a handle. You'd have to go all the way to the top to 103.82 on the January, the, uh, January of 2017 to really get that as, as a cup. So this is my interpretation of a different form of a cup and a handle, not my favorite pattern. But what I can tell you is that if the dollar starts to trade in the 98th, first of all, if it goes to 97.72, it's a weekly leg D and a monthly leg C. That would be very positive because the MACD is strong in the monthly chart and the stochastics at 86%. It's even stronger than the weekly. But this is what I really wanted to show you based on the Chapman Wave methodology. And for those of you who do sign up for my service, you'll get my daily newsletter. We've got, we've got positions. I give you the parameters. I tell you what we're looking at, why we're looking at it, where the stops are, etc. Every day we're looking at these, and I give you chart formations to show. We got two new positions yesterday, and I don't want to talk out of turn. Let me just see if it's worth talking about. And both of them are doing very nicely today from yesterday. So um, what I am looking at here is that you see this cup, and you see this little mini cup right here. That's not the issue. The issue is that I'm going to expand this even more. Big, 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 big. Move it over to the right. You see the stochastic is that it's still negative. I'm sorry, the stochastic is 70%. It's negative because it's under 80%, but it has crossed positive in terms of the chart formation. But I don't like 70%. I want 80% or higher. So the weekly chart is lagging somewhat. You see this MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, right there, 0 0.006. It is the histogram. The vertical lines, you see these vertical lines right here? We are just about, maybe by tomorrow, if there's a little bit of a rally tomorrow, we finally get the MACD to cross positive. If that MACD crosses positive, and then the following week, we creates a wide beta. Oh, I, I shouldn't say that. A wide, speaking to Dave White about this, I'm not sure what to call it, a nice, easy term. If it expands, so that if the expansion of the green line, the, the faster moving average, the nine period differential of the MACD, crosses positively over the slow moving average, the 26 period moving average, not only would that be a positive, but that would project that we've now got the chance that the MACD will continue higher, thus pushing and pressurizing and rocket shipping the dollar so that if it starts to go to the 98th, I don't think it's just going to stop at 98. I think it's at that point, it's in takeoff mode because it's been so long since it's broke above the candle high of June of 2017, 97.87. So if it goes to the 98th, it's into, look at these red candles. And if it t tackles each red candle, it takes a little time before it does it. I love that. That's fine. I like steadiness, um, but that will happen. So the support that has to hold over the next, for April, the whole of April in this monthly chart is 90, and we hit this black line there, the 14 period moving average, 95.69. All of April, it has to hold that. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Titan Dinners is out. Dow's up 113. SB's down one. I'll be back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. So I've got a couple of questions coming in. Actually, let's just deal with those questions. Uh, is T a buy? That's telephone, AT&T, Inc. Communications, up 11 cents at 31.98. Uh, there must have been some news I see down the Dow's down uh, of 81. That's because Boeing is still very strong, but the S&P is down five. So as I said to subscribers and as I said in the webinar, we are right at resistance as, as we speaking last night. I said there could be a little more. I see a little more to the upside. I had a question about the TVIX. The TVIX yesterday was, uh, let me just do that uh, because it's really market-wise, it's a little more important than telephone right now. Yeah, t that was trading at uh, the TVIX was in the 24s, uh, maybe low 25s yesterday. Had a question about it at this particular time, uh, whether it was a perfect time to uh, get in. And I said, I just see enough strength to say kind of no right now, but by tomorrow, um, I've got leg D, maybe leg E in the Dow. I've got the same sort of thing in the other indices. So this could be matching what normally in the Chapman Wave methodology for subscribers, they know that when we get to a D or an E in the, in the Dow, I'm already looking to, for short-term traders, already looking to have a short position in. I held off this time. I, I still think that there's some residual strength here, and I'll explain why in a moment. But let me just go to this. and I'm just checking the, the other questions here. So I can line everything up so we can go to uh, the stocks at the same time. Uh, yes. Oh, there's a note to say that my uh, webinar is now available to those subscribers and anyone wanting to subscribe. I really think that if you're, if you're looking at markets and you're saying to yourself, I'm not sure exactly what's going on around here, what, you know, what, what are the possibilities? I'm just saying to you, I think that there's a good chance that uh, – this is a great time to begin in the newsletter because of the different positions. We've got sort of under the radar, in the radar, over the radar stocks and, and indexes. And that's kind of what I'm looking at going into the summer period. So the VIX index is trading at 25.68 right now. You know, news stories and that sort of thing. I believe that we are once again, like we had earlier on in, in the last quarter, um, we're getting to a news event cycle where things can go wrong. This will be... Uh, I'm not sure what Trump can do with the border. Um, if somebody has to do something, you can't have open borders. Um, no country can have that. You can't afford to do it. Um, 
if there's a humanitarian crisis, you have to treat it as a humanitarian crisis. You've got to know what the humanitarian crisis is. Absolutely. I'm treating this, I'm talking about it because it, it relates to the VIX, it relates to the market, it relates to the, our economy, it relates to the fact that if, if the border shuts down, you're going to have disruption, certainly in the automobile industry, anything that comes across the border um, besides people, uh, you're going to have a, a problem because you're going to shut that down. And that's trade, and that's going to be a big issue. You've got Brexit. I'm not sure that May is handling this correctly. I don't think she has. She hasn't shown yet the negotiating skills to at least ameliorate some of the problems so that this, you can get some people on your side that you didn't have before. She needs to do that. Um, there are things out there, the whole tariffs, China, you know, the last 10 percent for China. That could be a real sticking point, but in between, you could get some great things. So a lot of things can go right, and a lot of things can go wrong. So we're at a, right at a crossroads here, okay, just to be a little careful. And I, I, we are still in, the, in having a nice cash position for subscribers ready to put, to put it to work. So TVIX, let me say this again. I, I see enough residual strength. Look, look at the way Boeing is helping the Dow, and you got that right across the board. I'm a, little, I'm a little concerned that you perhaps could be double topping in XLK, which is the tech spider uh, S&P fund. It made a high yesterday, two cents off, one cent off the previous high of, Octo of, of October at 78.27. Uh, V-shaped pattern, we know these V-shaped patterns. I call them the Groucho Marx eyebrows. Nobody even knows who Groucho Marx is anymore. I never particularly like the Marx Brothers. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> But the V-shaped pattern is really important right here. So in, within that context, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, watching this closely, because the technicals in the XLK are still pretty good. And the weekly technicals are absolutely superb, and it's only in leg B. It is going higher in 2019. So any pullback from 75.32 right now says that you've got tremendous support in the, in the 74 uh, to 73 area shorter term. And then 71 to 70, looking out, uh, say, six weeks or two months. All right. Now let's get back to, um, so I did that, did that. So the VIX index. I still think the VIX index as a pure play, other than just a quick grab and take your profits. I just, boy, I could be so wrong. Here I am in the Dow. Let me just do this quickly so you know what I'm talking about. Look, Dow, leg E in the chapel wave, DE, that's where we start to look for a potential short position, but the MACD is cross positive stochastics at 91%. I just, man, I could be so wrong. All right, S&P, SPX, look at this, the daily chart, S&P, leg D, a doji, uh, um, chapter wave side and doji the day before yesterday. Yesterday, a doji candle at um, a recovery high in the 2888 area, and now we're at 2871. Uh, I'm looking at this. What did I say? 28.88? No, it must have been 28.85.25. Sorry. 28.2885.25. All right. And let's make this great because we don't know what this is. I just wanted there as a number I could read. Look at the MACD st strong leg C up in the weekly chart. Monthly chart is improving. It's not, not yet technically good, but it's improving. Look at the QQQ, um, 183.10, down 68 cents. Everything was perfect to call this a doji candle top with a gap up top. If it was a Friday, we would have called it a gap up top. But it was a gap up at leg G slash C. MACD's good. Stochastic's good at 85%, but the weekly chart is really strong. 92% in the stochastic MACD is really expanded. To get this MACD to cross negative, you would have to cl close under, you'd have to get close to the 173, 14 period moving average. 175 is the uh, nine period moving average. I, you know, I drew this cup formation in uh, a couple of days ago, and I still think that that's, it's working. I, I just, I, I see some residual strength. IWM, so IWM now is, uh, down just 5.05. Um, yeah, it's in a C. MACD cross positive is not that strong. Stochastic still under 80%, 75%. Still one of the weaker indices. And it did make a peak B in the weekly, but it's 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 failing here a little bit. So, yeah, at 155, 10, down 05. 
it needs a leg D. I think we could try to work its way into a leg D. I'm just watching it closely. So now I can go back to the TVIX, and I'm going to say, as quick trades, like yesterday, would have been fantastic when when the when the uh, when the, when the uh, email came in. That was just perfect time. I have to congratulate you. Good eye, good feel for it. It was a perfect time. And if you just grabbed it and you took profits, yes. But look, this morning you would have said, oh my God, especially overnight when uh, the VIX was starting to decline a little bit. So I just be careful here, use it as quick trades. I got a feeling Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, that's the week that we've got to watch out for at least some kind of a breather or pullback. Got a feeling there's just enough strength here for another couple of days, a day or two, to just make it a test of strength uh, rather than anything else. Um, IYT, I mentioned that earlier. Yep, it's looking good. It's holding beautifully 191.83. Hit 193.40. I'll be back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, just to go through a couple of questions here, the, uh, the uh, S&P was 28.85, the, the E-mini was 28.89.25. There's that D. Look at this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone it got into and it's being pulled back. Look at the 120-minute um, chart, made a, a peak D top. Arching over, it's got this rectangle formation. I drew this in for subscribers, and in the den I showed it uh, what would happen. And I mentioned, uh, I can't remember exactly what I mentioned uh, earlier on. I said, where did it, where it is? Uh, the ESM 19 at 28.77s, that was earlier today. 
uh, is in leg D daily with improving tacticals and 289.1's resistance and 2.871 to 2.869's support. What was the low so far today? The low is 2.871. There it is. Um, new leg C weekly with strong tacticals. That makes the 120-minute resistance at 2.882's and 2.872's uh, important. That's on the short near term. Uh, borders to monitor with weak technicals. If some China news later today pushes over 28.90, that all goes well for the close. Not rallying over 28.89.25 today. Form was a peak D, making Friday important. Uh, see you at noon. That's what I said. Um, so this is very important. Look, MACD and stochastic in the 120 minutes are all weak, but it is holding below the low that was made at uh, 28.70 or 28.69 uh, much earlier this uh, yesterday. Uh, last night at 10 o'clock, uh, sometime last night. Um, so this is going to be very important because there's that pattern. Normally, I'd be jumping on it. We would have started a short position. I just say to myself, I don't know what Boeing's going to do. I don't know what a lot of things are going to do. I don't want to be short when all of a sudden there's some news uh, um, with China. Just at least today, it seemed to me there was enough residual strength. I still feel that way, but that's just shorter term by tomorrow by this afternoon i might say you know what i'm looking at everything and now we're ready for some kind of a pullback short term we'll, we'll deal with that later on just wanted to go through that now i want to go back to t which is telephone when i was looking at um dividend type stocks my thinking here with stocks like an att like a verizon like a, even a comcast is that this whole telecommunications situation it there is so much competition coming in here for each one. I know I've already cut back on one of my, my one of my phone services. Um, I, I just there's too much going on. All I can say is that uh, this is a G slash C in the daily with very good. I didn't think that it could rally this well, but if you go back to where it was up in the 44s and then it goes down to the 27s and now it's at 32. The question is, would I be long, would I be buying or selling right now? Would, would I buy, sell, or stay away? And all I can say is that it's acting way better than I thought. It's still acting terribly when you look at the monthly chart. AT&T, I think, has a, a lot of baggage uh, coming in. Uh, wait, this is, the MACD is good, Stochastic's good. I don't want to buy a dividend stock at 32 when it can actually pull back 10% quite easily to the 27s to retest the low, and then I'm losing. Uh, I'm losing. Uh, yeah, I got the dividend for 3.4 percent on what it is, uh, maybe maybe three something percent, and then I'm giving away taxes and I'm giving away um, capital gains. I would just uh, let, I, let me just make a choice out of Verizon or telephone. Verizon is a way better chart. They seem to be doing a lot more correctly than AT&T. Yeah, laggards can rarely rally and then have give you a very good gain. But I'm looking at risk rather than reward. I, I don't feel comfortable with these telecommunication companies. But if I was to choose, I'd probably say to you, my thinking is Verizon at 58. I would look at it as a potential buy, intermediate term buy. <sighs> Between here at 58.90s, let's say between 59, the 59s and the 57s, I'd be prepared to start a position. But within the moment I buy it, I've got three weeks and I want to see at least a one point profit. And then I want to be able to put a stop in. That's the way I would deal with it. It looks like it wants to go to a D in the, in the monthly chart. So my, 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 out of the two, I would say that... Um, that's a much better one. Now, the IYZ has been a spectacular, uh, um, um, on a percentage basis, going from the 25s to the 30. It's been a fantastic move up in the weekly chart, going above the left side, high of importance. The IYZ is the ICES US Telecommunications ETF. To tell you the truth, if the IYT, uh, IYZ gives you Dividends. I'm, I'm not sure. Is it, will the ETF give you? If they give you dividends, I would rather be in this whole conglomerate of the IYZ 
than just a specific stock. I just I feel that within the next three to four months, something's going to come along that's just going to Google, or I think it's going to be Google. It's just going to come in with something that just knocks the telecommunications industry on its head. Or maybe it's Amazon. I don't know. But something's going to happen. It just seems to be they're waiting for it. It's a stodgy service when you think about the telecommunications area. Um, it's something we desperately need. And when you go to other countries, their telecommunications seem to be so superior. So I just think that this is not the greatest area. So if you're in it, the IYT trading at 30, I'd say if you're in it already, some people are in it, I would do a little adding in the 29, low 29s, but that position would have a stop under the low of the week of the 15th, 28.49. So somewhere in the 28.50s, I'd, I'd have to put... Uh, maybe under 28.20, I'd put in a stop. That's the way I'd be looking at it. I hope that answers your question. So um, IGV, IGV, what was IGV? Have I ever looked at IGV? iShares Expanded Tech Software. Oh, oh, I remember seeing this, but I've never done any work on this. This broke to a new all-time high, the high that was made back at 206.66 in September with a Chapman Wave 2-bar reversal, and then it plummets down to 160, and now it's at 208. Wow, what's the question? Could IGV, IGV be forming more than a short-term top? <clears throat> uh, Z want to know. Okay, so I've got A, B, and that's a C. Oh, I hate when you get your Cs with a do. Everything about it says top, except for it's, it's not a G. I mean a D. Here we go. I'm going to do, uh, let's see, is there a break coming up? There, there's a break coming up. I'm going to do some work on IGV, which is the iShares Expanded Tech Software. Whew, what a candle today. Down 6, down 2.91%. Now that weekly chart is still very strong. Oh, I know exactly what I want to do. I'll do that in a moment. I've covered a chunk of things, but I also want to just show you. We'll come back to this after the break and give me a chance to do notation. Sell mode in the daily TLT at 126.69. That doesn't mean to say you couldn't have a big run and go to new highs. It just says technique in the Chapman wave. MACD cross negative stochastics at 60%. Made a peak D and it's way under the 14 period moving average. Weekly chart made a peak D and I suspect that it's going to test the, um, this is going to be important. Oh, I need to talk about this. I need to talk about it in relation to the market. Because money has come out of bonds over the last week and gone into stocks. Does that reverse? I'll do that. We'll put the whole picture together in a moment. Um, pack as well. Okay, we need to do some work here. I'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when and gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So, 215.9. Oh, I think it was or eight. Was it an oh or was it an eight? Little doji candle nine eight. Okay, so the IGV, the IGV's expanded tech software. I've never seen this uh, before. Maybe I've looked at it, but I've never done any work whatsoever. Says that this is a peak G. This is a really unusual pattern, and I've seen more and more patterns like this lately. Very unusual. Was very unusual. Now it's becoming more familiar where you're basically going sideways with pops to the right right arm extension, chap wave right arm extension failures, and they keep coming back, but they keep holding support, and they go to slightly higher highs. But this little tiny doji candle of yesterday with a big red bar suggests that the magnet's turning down, not very strong at all, wasn't confirming at all from the high that was made back at on the 4th of March at 209.80. Uh, ever since then, the MACD and stochastic just plummeted. They've been very weak. So this says to me there's a really good chance on a short, I would even say it's a possible intermediate term, meaning that it could last a, a, a couple of weeks. There's a chance, and that is what the V-shaped pattern in the XLK will say. There's a chance that there could be a pullback here with a couple of rallies that don't take out 215.98 that this is a top, and you'll know that if there's a close underneath the low of the 27th of 204.37, close under 204, there's just a really good chance that you're going to go down, and the big test will come at 198.32. So the question is, is this more than just a short-term top? And I'm going to say to you that based on the MACD in the, and the stochastic in the weekly chart, no, I can only call it at the moment this is the first day of the pullback. It's the deepest one we've had uh, on a cl so far. There was one deeper in actual uh, that first of March, I think it was a big down day. But this so far with the low, it's at the low of the day so far. This says to me that rotation. I called it last night compartmentalization. That's what we're going through right now. I think we're about to have a high level consolidation. What that means is that there are certain sectors that are overbought that are going to probably be pulling back. And we might see the IY, was that the T? Was, no, the IY, what the heck was that Z? We might find that telecommunications is an area that just might hold up a little bit better, but we might also find that because of the, this whole rotational thing, that the IYT, the transports, actually hold up even better, that they are so badly beaten, certainly the airlines, that this is an area that starts to move. We've also got, look at the grains. Uh, I, I'm answering your question here, but look at the grains. Wheat, nice move up today. It's pulling back a little bit from the high. It's down a quarter point, but it, it did try to rally, and it did test the high that was made on the, um, was the continuous contract. 478 was the high on the 26, and today is 477.5 is the high. 
So, but look, the MACD is good. Stochastic starting to improve. It's not great. The weekly chart is improving. Look at uh, soy. Soy is up huge. Look at that. Up six and three quarters at 905 and a half. Look at um, corn. Corn is not bad. It's not great. There's a horrible candle over here five days ago. How it's going to get above that is going to be important. So I'm saying there are pockets of information that are being given to us that says there's strength in some areas in this compartmentalization that's going to be very important. That's why the XLK, um, I think it's making some kind of a top here in the shorter term. That monthly chart leg, I have to call it leg B. That's not a G. That's a B. At 76.26, it's a blue B, not gray, because it's not under the 76.27 high. Um, it didn't make a new recovery high. But look, the MACD is strong. Stochastic said 92%. Yes, the monthly chart technicals are not confirming the fact that it got within two cents of making a new all-time high. This is good action. This is that the key support here could be 75.12 right now. 74 and they could even dip down and retest the low of 73.20 uh, 72.34 the week of the 27th and then you've got yourself a consolidation sideways consolidation but this is still very good action so to answer your question to go back to the igv i think short term if with within what's today thursday by tuesday afternoon wednesday morning if there is no new recovery high Oh, no, I'm sorry, new all-time high. It made an all-time high yesterday. Deserves a bit of a breather. If it doesn't go above 250.98, I'm going to be more clear. If there is a trade at 217.10 in the next week and a half, <clears throat> it's broken out to the upside. Just make it as simple as that. On the downside, I don't think um, at this particular point I can rule out the fact that this low of the 27th a 204.34.7 won't be tackled very quickly. Maybe even by, by Monday we could be there. And that would say this is the rectangle that we're looking at. Take out this rectangle and we'll be looking at a good few weeks of consolidation. In the weekly chart, this is only leg B right. Oops, leg C. Oh, very quick. Peak A, peak B, leg C. You've got to expect some kind of a pullback. You know the Chapman methodology? When you go quickly from an A to a B to a C, then you expect that you maybe get to a D, but whatever it is, get ready for a little bit of a pullback. That's where you get the stochastic. Oh, this is fantastic. This is the Chapman Way squash formation in the stochastic and weekly, in the weekly chart, in the stochastic and the MACD. And that takes you very quickly to C. Look at this. Uh, very quickly to C once you reach A. So we've got A, rest, B, rest. And in leg C right now, and that's very key because it's saying you might have to wait a little bit before you can get to a D. Oh, there you are. Got it. Um, next thing I want you to do, I had questions about gold. You know, gold, this is very important. It's come back out very nicely from the low from earlier on. It was down 6 or 7. It hit a low of 1284.9. It's at 12.93. Oh, 9 points off the low. That's very good action. On the 200 period moving average, made the arch formation from the Chapman Wave Peak D. Remember, that's what you look for. Big arch formation comes back down. Weekly chart did make a leg B to the downside. The MACD just crossed negative. Stochastic is negative. I think gold is going to struggle a little longer. And let me just go to birthday, birthday, birthday instrument, dollar. Basil's dollar birthday, one year anniversary today, April the 4th, 2018, went long for subscribers at 90.07 in the UUP, that's the trading vehicle, the dollar bull uh, fund, and here we are at 97.31, trying to tackle the 97.71 double top, can it break out, that's going to be very important, we've got the top from December, and then it pulls back to 95.02, go right back there in April to 97. April. It must have been March. March uh, 9771. Yeah, that was March. March the uh, 4th, not the, uh, March the 6th. Not the uh, April the 6th. This is April. So let me just change that before I make another mistake. That's that's a 3. Oh, I didn't mean that. That's a 3 right there. Good. Okay. 
Um, and there's that stalk leg. I was looking for that formation. All right. So now what's really important about this is that if dollar is representing uh, the strong United States economy, <laughs> before the border gets shut down, um, the dollar could very well try for the 97 uh, 80s. And then we'll see what happens, uh, because so far this is very good action. I'll be back with a look at the euro as we go out. EUR, USD, look at the euro. Euro is, oh, euro is not doing all that well. I'll be I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Euro dollar currency paired down a little bit right here. It's just it's made this inverted V. It's called the Eiffel Tower in, in Chapwave methodology. It's like an uppercase A. Uh, I always draw this in just to give a demonstration, live demonstration. So let's just do that. We're going to go to something like uh, 36, and we're going to go to red. That's what it looks like. Boom. Right there, straight up, straight down. Eiffel Tower, we call it. And it hasn't broken the 1.117 low of the 7th of March so far. Weekly chart, just the MACD and stochastic. It's got a turn here, and it's struggling. And the monthly chart doesn't look good. It looks like within about six to weeks to about two months, you could start to see some turn. That would say the dollar would be pulling back. I don't know, USD, JPY, this is the yen. Uh, look at this. Uh, leg, a very strong leg, A, broken out from resistance. It's looking much better. It looks like it wants to tackle leg D finally in the uh, weekly chart, and that'll be above 112.138 in the uh, dollar yen. This is the yen currency, uh, dollar currency pair. And it's 111.54.
Now, real quickly before we wrap up, this is what I'm looking at. The Dow trading at 26,321, uh, 600 points away from an all-time high. I think it can do it. Does it do it in this phase, or is there going to be a pullback first? That's going to be the big question, because right here is normally where I would say, hey, expect a pullback, let's go short. But the MACD's just turned up. This is not coming from up there in, in the daily chart. You see up there where the MACD's high and the stochastics in the 95% area? Yep, the stochastics and, and running out of time, the unbalanced volume reverses sharply lower. This is where the technical's holding pretty darn well. Now, maybe I, Boeing is helping it and a couple of others. I don't know. All right, didn't do crude oil? Yes, I did. Crude oil is um, in a leg B in the weekly chart, a leg D with a good MACD, strong stochastic, with these two little doji candles here. I think it will be coming back to test the 60.50 to 50.60 area a support, but not yet. But it's getting close to some kind of toppiness. Watch it closely. Have a great day. You've got uh, Steve Rhodes coming up. You've got uh, Dave White and Tom O'Brien. Check out my opening call. Uh, the uh, webinar from last night for subscribers is now online. You can get it. Go to the front page of TFN. I think it's worth looking at. I'm really proud of it. I spent Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.